Hey everyone, have you ever been totally lost while driving? You know that feeling when you're sure you're on the right path, but then suddenly nothing looks familiar. It's like the world has turned upside down. We rely so much on our navigation apps these days. They've become our digital co-pilots, guiding us through the maze of city streets and the open roads alike. Can you imagine if your app suddenly started speaking a language you didn't understand? It would be like your trusted friend suddenly speaking in tongues. Well, that's exactly what happened to some drivers in France recently. Picture this. You're driving through the charming streets of Paris or the scenic routes of Provence, and your navigation app throws you a curveball. They opened their Waze app, and instead of directions in French, they got a surprise. Hebrew. Yes, you heard that right. Hebrew, a language most of them had never encountered. Can you imagine the confusion? It's like expecting a familiar voice and getting an alien language instead. The bewilderment must have been palpable. It all happened on November 1st, 2024. A day that started like any other, but quickly turned into a memorable one for many French drivers. French drivers who depend on ways for their daily commutes were met with an unexpected language barrier. Imagine the chaos during rush hour. Their trusty app, known for guiding them through bustling city streets and quiet country roads, had seemingly decided to take a linguistic detour. It was as if their digital guide had gone rogue. Imagine hearing PNH wyming when you're expecting tournée à droite. The sudden switch must have felt like a prank. Talk about a confusing commute. Drivers were left scratching their heads, trying to decipher the foreign instructions while navigating the roads. It was a day of unexpected adventure for many. So, Waze is this super popular navigation app. People all over the world use it to get around. Whether you're commuting to work, heading out on a road trip, or just trying to find the quickest route to the grocery store, Waze has become an essential tool for many drivers. It uses GPS to figure out where you are and then tells you how to get to your destination. The app provides real-time updates on traffic conditions, road hazards, and even police activity, making it a go-to for anyone looking to save time on the road. It's really helpful for avoiding traffic jams too. By analyzing data from other users, Waze can suggest alternate routes to help you steer clear of congestion and get to your destination faster. But on this particular day, Waze took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. Instead of guiding drivers smoothly to their destinations, it threw a curveball that left many scratching their heads. It started giving directions in Hebrew instead of French. Imagine the surprise and confusion of drivers who suddenly found themselves trying to decipher a language they didn't understand. Drivers were left scratching their heads. Some tried to reset the app, while others checked their phone settings. But the mysterious Hebrew directions persisted. Some people thought it was funny. They shared their experiences with friends and family, turning the mishap into a light-hearted joke. Others, however, were pretty frustrated, especially those who were in a hurry or unfamiliar with the area. It's not exactly easy to navigate a busy city in a language you don't speak. The situation was particularly challenging for those who relied heavily on the app for accurate directions. It wasn't just a few people either. The issue seemed widespread, affecting a significant number of users. Reports of this strange bug started popping up all over social media. People took to platforms like Twitter and Facebook to share their bewildering experiences and seek solutions. People were sharing screenshots of their Waze apps, and sure enough, there were the Hebrew directions. The online community quickly rallied together, with some users offering temporary fixes while others waited for an official update from Waze. Oh, social media was buzzing. 
people were posting things like, Waze, have you been hanging out in Tel Aviv? And I guess I'm learning Hebrew now. Some people even joked that Waze was trying to teach them a new language. But let's be real, it wasn't all fun and games. Imagine being late for work because your navigation app decided to speak a different language. People were relying on Waze to get them where they needed to go, and this glitch really threw a wrench in their plans. Some drivers even reported problems with Down Detector, a website that tracks website and app outages. So it was a big deal. Now, nobody knows for sure what caused this Waze bug. It was a mystery that left many scratching their heads. It could have been a technical glitch, a server issue, or even a problem with the network infrastructure. Or maybe it was just a mischievous little coding error that slipped through the cracks during an update. Whatever the reason, it definitely caused some chaos on the roads of France that day. Drivers were left stranded, confused, and frustrated as they tried to navigate the unexpected traffic jams. Some folks started wondering if their phones had been hacked. The sudden malfunction made people anxious about the security of their devices. I mean, it's a little freaky when your technology starts acting up like that, especially when you're relying on it to get you from point A to point B. But most experts agree that it was probably just a harmless bug. These things happen more often than we realize, and usually they're fixed quickly. You know, those pesky little software errors that happen from time to time. They can be annoying, but they're usually not a sign of anything more sinister. Waze quickly apologized for the inconvenience and worked hard to fix the issue. They understood the importance of their service and the trust users placed in them. They even released a statement saying they were looking into what happened. They reassured users that they were taking steps to prevent such issues in the future, promising a more reliable experience. Here's the thing. It wasn't just French drivers who experienced this Hebrew hiccup. There were reports of similar issues popping up in other parts of the world too. Some folks in Spain said their Waze app started speaking Italian. Imagine that confusion. It seems like Waze was having a bit of an international language mix-up. So far, there haven't been any reports of major problems caused by this language bug. It seems like it was more of a funny inconvenience than a serious issue. But it does make you wonder, what other surprises might be lurking in the digital world? Section 6. Ways. From Tel Aviv to traffic jams worldwide. Now, you might be wondering why Ways would even have Hebrew as a language option in the first place. Well. Waze actually started in Israel. That's right, this global navigation app has its roots in Tel Aviv. It was created by a bunch of Israeli techies who wanted to make it easier for people to get around. The app quickly gained popularity in Israel and eventually spread to the rest of the world. Today, Waze is used by millions of drivers in over 180 countries. It's amazing how a small startup from Tel Aviv became such a global phenomenon. Section 7. Lost and found in translation. Similar tech tales from around the globe. This Waze incident reminds us that even the most sophisticated technology can have its quirks. And sometimes those quirks can lead to some pretty hilarious situations. Remember that time when Google Translate thought a bunch of bricks were best friends? Or when a chatbot started writing poetry about cheese? Technology can be amazing, but it's not perfect. And every now and then, it throws us a curveball that leaves us scratching our heads and chuckling to ourselves. Section 8. Have you ever been lost in tech translation? So. Have you ever had a funny or frustrating experience with technology? Maybe your phone auto-corrected a simple text message into something totally outrageous. Or maybe your GPS tried to send you swimming in a lake instead of driving across a bridge. 
I want to hear all about it. Share your best tech glitch stories in the comments below. Let's have a good laugh together. Section 9. Until next time, drive safely and bon voyage. That's all for today everyone. Remember, whether your navigation app is speaking